In question 15, the problem statement says, for what value of n are the nth terms of two APs? The first one being 63, 65, 67 and so on. And the second one being 3, 10, 17 and so on. For what value of n are the nth terms equal in these two APs? So let's write out the APs here, 63, 65, 67 and so on. So we see that the first term of this AP is 63 and the common difference you can calculate by taking the difference of any successive pair of terms. So D is equal to 2. So you can take 67 minus 65. So D is equal to 2. And for the second AP, the first three terms are 3, 10, 17 and the AP continues this way. So the first term of this AP, let's represent it as A dash is 3. And the common difference of this second AP is you can take the difference uh, of 10 and 3. So that's equal to 7. Now we have to find the value of n for which the nth terms of the two APs are equal. So let's represent the nth term of the first AP by Tn and of the second AP by Tn dash. So let's write expressions for both of these. So Tn will be equal to A plus n minus 1 d and a will be equal to 63 and d will be equal to 2 so plus 2 times n minus 1 and similarly the nth term of the second ap will be a dash the uh, first term here and plus n minus 1 times the common difference which is d dash so a dash is 3 and d dash is 7 so 3 plus 7 times n minus 1 now these two terms should be equal. So if we equate them, we will get an equation in n. So 63 plus 2 times n minus 1 is equal to 3 plus 7 times n minus 1. So I can from 63, I can subtract this 3. So I get 60. And on the right side, I have the 7 n minus 1. And I, if I take this term 2 n minus 1 on the right side, I will get 5 times n minus 1 and now if I divide both sides by 5 I will get n minus 1 is equal to 60 by 5 or 12 and this means that n is equal to 1 plus 12 or 13. So the 13th term of both APs will be equal and if you want you can verify this. So the 13th term of the first AP will be T13 which will be the first term 63 plus uh, n minus 1 so that's 12 into d is 2 so 12 into 2 is 24 and 63 plus 24 is 87 so this is the 13th term of the first ap and the 13th term of the second ap will be the first term 3 plus n minus 1 that's uh, 12 again into d is 7 in this case so 12 into 7 is 84 84 plus 3 is 87. So the 13th terms of both AP are equal uh, and both are equal to 87. So the answer is that for n equal to 13, the nth terms are equal in the two APs and that solves question 15. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.